Welcome to the Gridiron, a place for skill, talent, athleticism, and most notably, violence. There's no way around it. Americans love football. But recently, the game has come under significant fire. Hi, I'm Nathan Cotton, here to bring you the first edition of Neuro News. Every weekend, millions of Americans are glued to the football games on their TVs. And who can blame them? American football is thrilling, dramatic entertainment filled with narratives and stars. But that inherent physicality comes at a price, injuries. While certain injuries, like broken bones and torn ligaments, are clear for everybody to see, a different kind of injury is now getting more attention, and rightfully so. I'm speaking, of course, about the C word, concussions. You surely heard the term before, but you might not know what it means. So, what is a concussion, and how do we define it? Medically speaking, a concussion is an injury to the brain that results in temporary loss of normal brain function. Therefore, concussion diagnosis is based on the specific incident that occurs and some symptoms that may follow, including confusion, prolonged headache, dizziness, nausea or vomiting, impaired balance, memory loss, ringing in ears, difficulty concentrating, temporary loss of smell, taste, hearing or vision, sensitivity to light, and of course, loss of consciousness. Our skulls are hard, and they do a great job of protecting the brain, of course our most prized asset. But ironically, the skull is often the source of concussive damage. You see, our brains are essentially floating in our heads, cushioned by a pressurized fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. CSF, as it's better known, keeps our soft brain tissue from banging into the hard shell around it. A forceful blow to the head, or even a rapid change in motion like in a car crash, can cause your brain to collide against the inner walls of your skull which, as you can guess, is problematic. So what's the big deal? Repetitive head trauma, such as concussions, are the primary cause of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, a neurodegenerative disease often found in athletes. CTE can be found in athletes of various sports, but if you're a football fan, you need not look very far to see the relationship between this disease and the game you love. In 2012, retired all-pro linebacker Junior Seau, a beloved NFL player, committed suicide. Postmortem studies of his brain showed clear abnormalities consistent with CTE. That same year, Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Jovan Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend before later taking his own life at his team's practice facility. Just recently, examinations of Belcher's brain showed damage comparable to CTE at 25 years of age. Although correlation certainly does not imply causation, the number of current and former NFL players who now have these neurological problems may indicate that the sport accelerates neurological decline. Currently, over 1,400 former NFL players and their families are entrenched in a legal battle with the NFL. They're accusing the league of being negligent in the areas of concussion research, prevention, and awareness. Regardless of the litigation's outcome, the NFL is being grilled harder than ever before, and it appears the media storm is not going away. Bring the pain. This brings us to the epicenter of the ethical debate surrounding American football. As more research about football's potential dangers come to light, will we continue to adore the game we know today? If the game changes to ensure player safety, will there also be a change in the NFL's popularity, or more tellingly, its revenue? Will viewers turn a blind eye knowing their favorite players are putting themselves in position for prime neurological decline, both now and later in life? Only time will tell the answers to these questions, but in the meantime, it's definitely something to think about. This has been the first edition of Neuro News, presented by NeuroSci at The Ohio State University. If you're interested in learning more about concussions, CTE, the NFL's concussion protocol, or any of the topics we discussed, be sure to check out the links posted in the About section. Feel free to comment with questions, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.